Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 20,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting, keep sharing, and keep motivating me by giving me stuff to react to. I'll be more than glad to react to whatever you guys suggest. Just drop the name or the link. To whatever you want me to react to down below and i'll definitely check it out with time uh check out funny and jesse 2.0 head there subscribe and enjoy the content that um is being put out on that channel also check out my blog morning coffee with funny i post positive stuff so just head there and enjoy the positivity that comes with my page my blog so today i'm actually going to be reacting to the muslims believe they create they are created in God's image. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. You're watching Let the Quran Speak. Now we answer questions we receive from you, our viewers. If you have a question, visit our website, quranspeaks.com. Dr. Shabir, the question is, do Muslims believe they are created in God's image? Mm. So uh, the, the, we, we need to uh, tease out some background exactly. for this because, uh, you know, the question might actually be so, be surprising to some Muslims. Like, mm -hmm. what is meant by God's image? Mm -hmm. Because uh, for, for Muslims, God does not look like anything we, we know. We cannot imagine, uh, like, conceptualize a, a, a God in some form. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we are we are told since we are children that uh, you know angels uh, are like this. Angels are neither male nor female. So we 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 realize from childhood in our Islamic teachings that uh, we can't even visualize what angels uh, look like. I mm -hmm. mean, we may see popular popular iconography mainly from Christian sources with angels having wings and so on. But and the Quran in fact says that angels have wings or, or describes some angels as having wings. Uh, but but they're not physical beings like like us. They're spiritual beings. When we think about God in the Muslim conception, God is even beyond that. God is transcended. He is referred to in the Quran as Al A'la. He is you know above everything. And the Quran says La tudrikul absar wa huwa yudrikul absar wa huwa latiful khabir. And no vision can grasp him, but he grasps all vision, and he is subtle yet aware. Uh, so. God is that subtle being. Uh, the, the Bible describes him as the hidden God in the book of uh, Isaiah. Yet, uh, to, to tease out that background a little bit more, in, in our sister religions of Judaism and Christianity, uh, this was already discussed, and that's largely where the question seems to come from. Is it a biblical concept? Uh, he, he, well, yes. In the book of Genesis, in chapter 1, it says that on the, you know, God created things day 1, day 2, day 3, then on the 7th uh, day God rests. On the 6th day, God created human beings, and then it says, in the image of God, He, uh, he made them. Hmm. Uh, so uh, it's interesting that he made them in the image of God, which means male and female. God made them male and female in the image of God. He made them. Mm -hmm. uh, so what does that mean for what God looks like? It, it, does it mean that God is both male and female? Uh, this is especially interesting to feminists uh, because for a long time the traditional view has been that God looks like a man and God is addressed as father. And, and though he, um, you know, God is shown to have some um, traditionally feminine qualities like, you know, nurturing and gathering um, uh, people and, and so on. Um, Nonetheless, the, the prevailing image of God is that of a father and, and, and of, of a man. And now in, in the book of Genesis, we see that uh, God sometimes comes down in the form of a human being as a man. And, and he appears, for example, to Abraham. And then he dines with uh, Abraham, apparently. Uh, so the, the idea of God looking like a man, this became the prevailing image and uh, modern feminists, uh, you know, are some paying, it, paying some attention to the idea that uh, God is somehow both male and, and female, mm. because that's literally what the verse seems to entail. God created them in his image, male and female, he made them. The thinking about this imagery for God, however, uh, Jewish uh, interpreters like Maimonides, uh, they have said that uh, what is referred to here is not a physical um, 
uh, form of God, but that that human beings are created like spiritually, mm. uh, like God in some in some way. And I think this is where the Islamic tradition can pick up. The the Islamic tradition says, خلق الله آدم في سورته. Uh, this is mentioned in Sahih al-Bukhari as, a, as an authentic hadith, that God created Adam in his image. Mm. Uh, now, if the Prophet, peace be upon him, said that, then what it must mean is that uh, th- the same kind of spiritual meaning that Maimonides uh, referred to, because in the Islamic concept, uh, just like the Jewish concept, God does not have this physical form. So it must mean that just as God is kind and compassionate and so on, human beings have been created with this, also given intelligence and language, uh, which sets human being, which set human beings uh, uh, in distinction uh, from uh, other uh, created physical things that we see on Earth. Thank you for sharing those interesting insights, Dr. Shibir. You're welcome. If you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe, and please donate to support our work at QuranSpeaks.com. Very interesting perspective. I would have never actually imagined that feminists actually think God is both man and woman. That, um, that's something new to me and that's something I've actually never explored, you know, or, or had any arguments about. So what do feminists say then? Otherwise, um, I really, really don't know. Not just Muslims, not just Christians, but the entire world, like, if we believed God was man-like or had an image like us, that means he would be man-like, yeah? That's what I'm trying to say. Wouldn't that defeat the whole purpose of God? Because why, I always say this, why should we call someone who looks like us God? Why, why exactly would we do that? Are we not robbing ourselves of something, whatever it is that we're robbing ourselves of? Because for us to respect or praise or pray to something, it should be, I'd love to believe it should really, really be different from us and have greater power than us. Imagine praying to a man and then what? It's like me worshipping my sister and say, okay, she's God. Or she was sent by God or whatever it is. Why should my sister be a God while I feel like I'm just a regular um, human being? That's something I would really, really love to understand. But then, um, so, so I guess he's saying Muslims don't believe that created in God's image. Because he, he says he, the Muslims, like the Jews, actually believe that um, God has no image which is also something very very interesting to listen to at the end of the day we're always going to have these questions whether we like it or not some of us come across them some people don't and it's really really up to someone I always saying you only find knowledge when you go out there and look you could come across the feminist perspective of what god is or god's image and maybe you would agree with them or not but why why should god be both man and woman that's that's i don't know that's why i think i'm comfortable with knowing that he's not man he's not woman he's just whatever he is despite us using terms such as he to describe what god really is and i think i'm comfortable with that honestly speaking i don't know about you guys what do you think what are your thoughts um do you think god is a he she were we created in god's image were you created in god's image what are your thoughts please let me know down below if there is something you want me to react to please 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 comment down below drop the name drop the link i'll get reacting to it make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video